Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Eric, your landlord flipper, back with more information on this profit pooling strategy of flipping landlords. What I want to explain today is how my first ever flipping landlords deal came about and how this groundbreaking strategy was also born. It was pretty much like it was yesterday. I was going through some times in my life, I needed some personal development, and a close friend of mine, business partner, and mentor, Marcel Humphrey. And Marcel is known across the country for helping thousands of folks learn his wholesaling strategy and those becoming successful through wholesaling. And he pretty much pulled me to the office and we're talking just pretty much personal development to get my mindset back into focus uh, to again be successful in this real estate game. And his phone rang and it was an investor who just purchased one of his wholesale deals and their exit strategy was to buy and hold. And they pretty much asked him if he had any tenants. And as he got, got off the phone, I could kind of hear it. So I mentioned, oh, the person's looking for tenants. And Marcel said, yeah, he asked, do I know anyone looking to rent? And he, I didn't have anyone. And then it was at that time, it was like the aha moment. Like, ding! And Marcel says, you know what? We can find tenants for these owners and charge them a pr uh, price of the first month's rent. And then he asked me if I was, you know, wanted to do this. I said, of course, you know, I'm down. I then sprung into action. I called that investor that just called Marcel and informed him that I do have tenants available for rent, even though I really didn't know what I was doing. He gave me the address and entry instructions for that property. I then went to the property that evening and took pictures of that proper property to start marketing. Now, it probably, I probably should have went that evening as it was an alley street property, no lights, you know, kind of not the greatest neighborhood, you know, and it was a little timid around there. But I sprung into action and I took action. I then put those photos and a note up on MySpace. Yes, folks, MySpace. And someone who I really didn't know but knew me on MySpace messaged me saying they had a friend who was looking to rent as I had this two bedroom, one bath for $700 available in East Baltimore. Uh, I then called that person the next uh, morning, set up an appointment for that evening, and they wanted the property. Now, I had no idea what to do. And you'll learn in some of my videos how I had no idea what to do. So I then went back, downloaded an application from a free website, tweaked the application, met up with that tenant that was interested in the property the next day, had them fill it out, sent that information along with that tenant's pay information to the owner, and they basically said, when do they want to move? The tenant wanted to move the next day. So just from that two, three hours worth of work of not even knowing what to do, I profited $700. That's right, folks. Two to three hours of not knowing what to do, I profited $700. Not even that. After that tenant moved in, that investor gave me five other properties to rent. So it just shows you of how sometimes investors may kind of want to strain you along to make sure you know what you're doing and then when you make something happen for them, they're going to just expand their business that will open up your business and help your business be more profitable. So this is Eric just sharing the groundbreaking, you know, just how this whole concept was formed and my first ever deal of flipping landlords. Talk with you soon.